Good afternoon, and we continue at the Maryland Federation for Republican Women, and we have with us a dynamic speaker this evening, Tim Snow, who also... Tori Snow, I'm sorry, <laughs> who is also has a radio show, yes. WBAL. When does that air? 2 to 6 p.m. every weekday, Monday through Friday. And you spoke a lot about history. And why do you think that's important for Americans today? I think that history is the key to understanding our country. It's key to understanding our culture. When you say, what does it mean to be an American? Understanding history teaches us who we were, how we overcame adversity, and the path before us. And you say that we, when we study history, we might agree with conservative views more often or see conservative views, particularly the black community. I do believe that. And I mean, when you think about it, Frederick Douglass famously said, I will be a Republican. I'm going to paraphrase here, but because he's always going to support the party of liberty and freedom. And the reality is that the more people understand history, the more they'll understand how little government intervention has benefited people and how people really taking ownership of their lives in partnership with the government has led to the better outcomes. And I do believe people seeing that would help them in the future. And you're very in uh, involved in the Frederick Douglass? That's right, the Frederick Douglass Foundation of Maryland. I am the chapter president for our Maryland chapter, and it really does, uh, we try really hard to educate people about the resources that are available, teaching them about Frederick Douglass and really opening the door to history for everyone. Why is he so important? Frederick Douglass really symbolizes the the, the epitome of the American dream, right? The epitome of freedom and how important it is to have a, a, a free voice. Frederick Douglass wrote about his life. He tells us about his challenges. And if you follow your life and line it up with his, there's a very good opportunity that you will find that, hey, if he could overcome these things in his circumstances, maybe I can change my own circumstances. I think that that is such an amazing approach. And you, you mentioned also some of the different some of the different sources that um, people could work with for education. What are some of those sources? One of my favorite sources is 1776 Unites. 1776 Unites. It's either .com or .org. I don't remember off the top okay. of my head. But if you type 1776 Unites, they have this free curriculum there. Download it. It's an excellent resource. The other thing I would also emphasize is Black History 365. It's actually co-authored by a good friend of mine. Joel Freeman, and those are just a few of the resources. There's so many out there. If you go to fdfmaryland.org, we'll try to put some links up there so that people can find those sources. Great. Well, we loved hearing you. And once again, uh, where are you? What radio station and what time? WBAL News Radio 1090 and FM 101.5 every weekday from 2 to 6 p.m. Okay. Thank you, Tori Snow. <laughs>